guess from a young child, I was very interested in symbology, writing, images. I am fascinated with change because the only constant thing in my life has been change. The change it influences me in a way that, for example, seeds and, and, and roots and uh, things with plants are constantly changing. Nature's constantly changing. And a lot of that imagery com comes into my work. I usually create monotypes with images that, that look good as a silhouette. Uh, I've done a series of monotypes and paintings called the Fox Spirit Chair. And I, the idea came to me when I was reading a Chinese story from the 1600s and it described a healer in a room and she had a red curtain and a little table with a chair on it, with a red cushion. And a sick person would come in and she would conjure up the fox spirit to try to help them get better. And the moment I read that story, my imagination became alive with this red curtain, the red cushion, the chair, the table. And so over the, that was about seven years, over that period of time, I bet I've created at least 20 images from that one little story. Uh, I always work with a resource. I always start with something um, that I can pin up or use for a drawing and then as I'm working I hope that I can deviate from that into realms unknown and hopefully also for me it's good if I can maybe like more so in, in this print which came after this one evoke even something that is ethereal, provocative, mysterious. Those are all uh, something that I'm striving for even though I do start with a, with a solid resource. My art is extremely personal and emotional. Although a viewer might not be able to read what my interior motivation is, but it's always, to me, a metaphor. I love narrative, I love stories. I love it when a viewer can kind of create their own story from one of my images, or my image will resonate with them somehow. This is what I'm supposed to do. And I'll probably do it until I die, you know. Actually making a living as an artist, that's, that's what I'm supposed to do.